Hey guys, King of Trimass here, and today I bring to you the ultimate guide on hunt-a-thons to give you the best experience. And we're gonna get started with how hunt-a-thons work. Well, hunt-a-thons allow you to encounter five large monsters in a set, with the fifth monster being a powerful large monster. Hunt-a-thon monsters are also more powerful, making them more painful, with 70% more HP, or to put it in proper math terms, it's 1.7 times the original HP. And they give better material rewards occasionally. Do not expect like a lot of an increased double rewards, etc. It's occasionally better material rewards, better drops. So occasionally better drops. And it requires hunter rank 11 and above. And can you can have up to four hunters in a hunt-a-thon group. Next, we have hunt-a-thon time details. There's a lot of details regarding time, so I'm just going to put them all in this section. Hunt-a-thons start appearing around 8.50 a.m. local time, with the first hunt a -thon starting around 9.15 a.m. So every day in the morning, every day, hunt a will start appearing at certain times. In the morning, the very first one will appear around 8.50 a.m. local time, as far as the portal goes, and then the hunt a -thon will start around 9.15 a.m. And the last hunt a -thon of the day will start at 8.45 p.m. and ends around 9.15 p.m. This is from the official Niantic support page, so these times should be accurate. Unless Niantic messes up, like we always know they do, if you, especially if you play Pokemon Go. If you don't, you don't know. Hunt-a-thons have two icons. There's one on the left, so you see on the left right here where it says 10.30. What that means, it's a portal icon. This indicates what time that hunt -a will start. So hunt -a will start at a certain time. That's the time it will start. So for example, it's 10.20 at 10.30, that portal will start. There's another icon as well called the monster icon. So the monster icon is this one to the right right here. Hunt-a-thons are ready with the fifth monster being the icon above it and the difficulty. So in this example they give right here, the boss monster for this Hunt-a-thon will be a 5 star Rathalos. In addition, Hunt-a-thons have a 30 minute timer before the portal opens to start it, except for the first one of the day. So Hunt-a-thons have a portal that opens and the portal is going to open in 30 minutes, except for the first one of the day which is around 25 minutes according to the example from the previous slide. And once they start, Hunt-a-thons have a 30 minute timer once they start on large gathering nodes. So this means every Hunt-a-thon will spend about an hour on a gathering node. You can participate in a Hunt-a-thon every 180 minutes, which is 3 hours unless you buy a Hunt-a-thon ticket. Hunt-a-thon tickets in the shop allow you to instantly join Hunt-a-thons without waiting 3 hours. If you don't have a ticket and you're not on your timer before Hunt-a-thon starts, it will give you the option to buy a ticket before the Hunt-a-thon starts. So that's nice they put it in there so you don't have to go to the shop, you don't have to back out, go all the way to the shop, buy one, and then go back in. I also think it's ironic that this is literally like a golden ticket, it's like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Here's your golden ticket to hunt all these monsters and possibly get better than occasional materials. And here are the Hunt-a-thon hunting details. You are allowed to change equipment in between each battle. You are also allowed to heal in between each battle. So you can use your potions, you can use your first aid meds using the item tab on the bottom right if you need a heal in between each battle. If you fail a Hunt-a-thon, you can reattempt it as many times as you want as long as the 30 minute timer has not expired. So if there's nothing there, guess what? You can reattempt it. But as long as that 30 minute timer hasn't expired, you can keep doing Hunt-a-thons over and over again. So you don't have to worry about that unless the timer's expired. When you attempt a Hunt-a-thon, you will start out at the large monster you last encountered. So you don't have to go all the way back to the first large monster and this would be broken anyways because if it was like that, then you could just reattempt it over and over again, kill the small large, the small monsters and just effectively farm a Hunt-a-thon over and over and just get a whole ton of golden XP. Maybe one day it'll break one of these days so they can, that happens and then we could take advantage of it until Niantic discovers it and fixes it. And last but not least, we have a preview screen. So Hunt-a-thons, before you get started, will show you a preview screen. And you will be able to see the entire set of five large monsters and their difficulty for that Hunt-a-thon. In this case right here, I have a four-star Great Jagras, a four-star Baroth, a five-star Barioth, a five-star Legiana, and a six-star Zenogre. There is also a tab that shows you nearby hunters that you can join for a group hunt. So as you see here, and the usual, that's the usual life of a solo player, there are zero nearby hunters even though I'm in the Mall of Asia in the Philippines, so this kind of makes me sad, but yes. So you can join your hunters if you can. If there isn't, it'll show zero, but you can start hunt. The good thing is that you can go, it's, you could do solo, you could do it solo. So you could solo hunt-a-thons if you want to, you don't need party members. Move it! You can't get here or get away! Right!
Oh, I love Kingdom Hearts. If you're a Kingdom Hearts fan too, you know that scene. And but instead of hunting a ton of Heartless, we're gonna hunt a ton of large monsters. And as you see, here's a live example of a Huntathon, and there are large galley nodes on the map that have timers to indicate their Huntathons. One has started right here, as you see, as a six stars an ogre, and the other one is gonna start at 10:46 a.m. Here's an extra tip though. You can tap to get materials from a Huntathon portal that has not started yet. So Huntathon portals that have not started yet, you can still gather materials for them. If, you're, if you still want those materials, of course, you need those carbon bugs, etc. If you need to buy Huntathon ticket, you can do so from the portal menu, menu without having to go to the shop. So you saw earlier right there, I was able to buy a Huntathon ticket without actually having to go to the shop. And Huntathon tickets normally cost 150 gems. So as you see, I shelled out 150 gems so that I can go ahead and start this Huntathon right away without having to wait. Now for Huntathons, the first two monsters are pretty weak. You shouldn't have a problem taking them down even if you're a solo, if you're soloing in and you don't have a party, while monsters three and four are more difficult. So the third and fourth monster will actually be more difficult. In this case, I'm able to wipe out the Great Jaggers right here and slap in the face. And then the poor Barith, it doesn't matter if you got that mother armor, I'm just gonna slap you with my power, the power of my drumsticks, the you know, I, it's kind of funny you call them drumsticks, but those are, it's Diablo's horns that are broken off and used as dual blades, which is freaking hilarious. But yes, the chicken drumsticks are able to easily take out this Barra, this Barrett, which is the second monster. And then for my third and fourth monsters, I have this Barioth, and then I have a Legiana. So first two monsters, pretty easy. Third and four monsters, monsters three and four are more difficult, but you still should be able to solo them. The problem you're going to have is with the fifth boss monster. It's the hardest out of the group, and depending on your equipment, you may or may not be able to take out the fifth monster solo. So, if you're trying to take it on, you hopefully it's your strong enough uh, solo play. If you don't have any hunters around you to play with, you know that's the life of a solo player. And like I mentioned, I'm in the Philippines right now, and I still haven't had a single party member, which makes me pretty sad. Even though I'm in the Malaysia, whoop de doo. But other than that, yes. So the fifth monster is pretty difficult. Here I'm able to fight Zenogre because we have the Zenogre event going on and I'm still able to take it down. So thankfully, without any party members and not fighting a single group in the Philippines still, I'm still able to take out Zenogre by myself. And here's an extra note. Monsters you slay in Huntathons give double the Zenny and Hunter rank points. I don't know why no one's pointed this out, but yes, you get double the Zenny and Hunter rank points for every monster you beat in a Huntathon. Hopefully this guide helps you out a ton with Huntathons. I put as much information as could over here and hopefully you're having a blast with the new update. But I am hoping that Huntathons are improved in the future. It's there's a lot of improvement that could be done with this. Let me know your opinions in the comments. With that being said, please do me a huge favor. I'm doing all this content even though I'm on vacation in the Philippines because I love creating content monster and I love this game. So do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Again, good luck on your grinds for Huntathons, and hopefully you're getting all that Zenogra materials if you want them. Good luck on your grinds again, and I will see y'all on the next video.